Sadia al Kabir? Never heard of her. Neither you nor anyone else. The poor girl has been utterly forgotten. How does the story continue? With the help of the Frakina, Sadia took the mask over the Rashtulian wall to Draconia. She joined the troops there and went to battle. But those are all unimportant details. Don't concern yourself with them. Only one thing matters. The riddle I shall now tell you. The inscription on the burial chamber. How can the rest of the story not be important? Well, it is important, but not for you. Trust me. In this one case, ignorance is truly a blessing. If no one remembers her, how do you know that this woman really existed? I investigated it myself. Malachar's burial chamber really existed, and over 450 years ago, a young woman was seen climbing out of that very tunnel with a fakina and setting out towards the Rashtulian wall. I swear to you, in the name of my father and all my forefathers, Sadia's tale is a true story. Do I understand you correctly? The glowing inscription on the burial chamber, that's the riddle. Quite correct. An archaic inscription written in ancient Talamedia. As an educated Talamede princess, Sadja was the only one who could read it. I created a transcription from my memory, and an old friend translated it for me. It reads as the stone over the scarab. So rules the scarab over the stone. Enter if to you the answer is known. If not, then forever your life I'll own. Yuri. I believe Sadia knew the answer, else she would never have entered the chamber. But why didn't she tell the others? Didn't she send them all to their doom that way? I see you paid attention. I give you three days to solve the riddle. On the fourth day, I'll move on, whether you know the answer or not. And if I solve it by then? You shall have what you want from me. A spell of the mightiest transformation. A spell which transforms any living being into any form you desire. Deal. I like you, Geron. I'm certain our business will turn out well for both of us. Believe me, I hope so too. Strange fellow. Nuri, I'm back. I think I found someone who can help you. Nuri? I'm here. What's wrong? My wound opened. My wing is bleeding again. Oh no. Were you playing with animals again? You're a raven now. You can't do that anymore. I wasn't playing. It just opened again. It doesn't look too bad. You lie and rest. I'll make a salve for you. I'll take them back during my next break-in. Good thing I hadn't put it away yet. For Nuri's salve of healing, I need to mix ground-up whirlweed with salve fat. Salve fat. I can only pray that the Lady Perina will allow the use of simple grease just this once. Did it hurt when the artifact pulled your soul into the raven's body? I don't know. It was worse before that. My fairy body was wilting away. That was much more painful. I'm sorry. At that point, I could only save your soul, not your body. I often ask myself whether there wasn't another way after all. Ho ho, Nuri. I, King Chestnut, bid you good evening. Good evening, King Chestnut. Why so sad, my lovely? Oh, I don't know. Right now, I just want to sleep. Oh, that's a very wise idea. It's so wise that I hereby officially appoint you to be my Minister of Sleep. Oh, <laughs> thank you, dear King. You have earned this title honestly. Do you like your new bird tree? Yes. Garon, why must I be a fairy again before we can leave here? Because that's what you are. A fairy, not a raven. And Giacomo says we need to hurry about changing you back. He says that a fairy soul is a tender thing. Who knows what'll happen if it stays in the wrong body for too long. And it's much easier for me to protect you here than it would be on the road. <sighs> if only you would let me protect you. I never thought I could fix that after last winter. Nothing in there that could help Nuri. 
It's filled with magic fairy water from Nuri's cave. Do you miss your family, Nuri? The fairy queen and king? A little, but I prefer not to look back. The animals and plants of this world are my family now. I was still very young when they died. The seer's fairy harp. It's finally destroyed, thank the gods. That accursed harp. If it hadn't been for that, you'd still be yourself. I don't want to think about that. It was so horrible. After I finished eating, I wanted to get to Fahi as fast as I could. I didn't have time to clean up. By Travia, it's all greasy. You'll have to go back in there tomorrow, I'm afraid. Hmm. At least until you can fly again. Otherwise, the Andagastrians will see that I'm traveling with a talking raven on my shoulder, and we'd be facing an angry mob again in no time. That horrible witch. She promised me that I could use the recipe to create a new body for Nuri. I'll never see those silver talas again. The fabric is falling apart more and more. Well, as soon as I solve Fai's riddle, we'll be out of here. Right, Nuri? I want to see the world. But first you need your old body back. I'll cut out a rag. The rag's now covered in fat. First, I have to grind up the herbs somehow. Ah, I can grind up the herb with the knife handle. There. The strip is small enough. Perina, please let this fat be enough for Nuri's wound. It's all I have. There. And next, we'll make you a fairy again. Did you meet the man? Yes. I don't know if I can trust him, though. But if Giacomo is right, then soon everything will be like it used to be. You'll be as tall as a human again, and together we'll travel across Aventuria and have one adventure after another. <sighs> when do you think I'll be able to fly again? Let's see how your wound is doing tomorrow. Maybe we can go and practice a little. Fine. Sleep well, Garon. Sleep well, and don't worry. Soon everything will be as it was. As the stone over the scarab, so rules the scarab over the stone. Enter if to you the answer is known. If not, then forever your life I'll own. And again, this time you can do it. I don't know. Don't be discouraged. Think about something nice. Think about... The night we spent together in the Brinask Marshes. You wanted to enter a bond of love with me. Yes, that was nice. But you lied to me before that. I wanted to save you. If I told you the truth, you wouldn't have come with me. Anyway, I still like to think about it. Do you remember? Remember the orcs and how I had to distract them? Wasn't that exciting? They were eating so peacefully. And then you sent them off to war, just to get rid of them. They were orcs. Orcs are always going off to war. But all right. Nuri, you must have one nice memory. Do you remember... Think about the first time we met. You lived in a lonely cave for years, and together we found a way to finally free you. And all the things you've seen since then. The first thing I saw were people who wanted to kill me. Yes, but you've also seen nice things. 
It's time you become a fairy again. Do you remember how happy and carefree you used to be? Of course I remember. That makes me even sadder. Come on, that's enough for today. Do I have to go back in the cage? Unfortunately, yes. With a pet raven on my shoulder, the Andagastrians will immediately take me for a warlock again. I'm glad those days are over. Oh well. Hmm. On the way back, let's stop by Fai's tent. He has such a carefree manner. I'm sure he'll raise your spirits. Garon? Yes? I want to be like I was in former times too, but I don't know how. So much has happened. Ah, we'll manage somehow. Nuri's old cave is under there. When her fairy body was destroyed, the cave collapsed as well. Do you miss your old home? <sighs> I don't know. I don't think so. This is where we met for the first time. You were trying to catch me like a bird. How was I to know you'd be so big and so stubborn? You're a fine one to talk. <laughs> You're right. Even if we don't have a whole lot in common, we can certainly agree on that. Who are those people? These statues scare me. They look like the pillars from Fai's tail, only with faces. Hey there, what's going on? <sighs> Brida, I can't work like this. Master Bodiak? This man is disturbing my investigation. Talk to him. Send him away. I have no time for this sort of thing. I'm sorry, but the School of Arcane Combat of Andergast has closed off this area until further notice. You should go home. What happened here? A mob from the city wanted to chase a traveling merchant out of the country. And this is what became of them. Ta-da! Ancient Tulumid pillars with an Andergastrian core. No trace of the merchant. He disappeared? Yep, now shoo. Otherwise the same thing might happen to you too. Everything's cursed. Fahi was our best chance to heal you. But isn't he evil? Didn't he petrify those people? Nuri, that was an Andergastrian lynch mob. Had I been able, I would have turned them into stone too. He must have left a trace around here somewhere. I'd better find it before the mages from the School of Arcane Combat do. Otherwise we'll be right back where we started. A stone pillar with a stone sword and an elaborately chiseled beard. If it really were chiseled, that is. Looks like the knapsack of a wanderer or a hunter, not like the bag of a serious mage. He's holding a small shell against the petrified woman. I wonder if he thinks he can talk to her that way. It doesn't look like she's going to answer. The pillar. It has the face of the butcher woman from the market. What happened here? Hey, anybody in there? She can't hear a thing. And if you keep yelling like that, neither can I. So, please. Psst. Nori, can you do me a favor? Distract the mage. Hop behind the statue and talk to him. He'll think you're the petrified woman. Shall I tell him about King Chestnut and the turnip ghosts? No. Just answer his questions. What questions? And what should I say? Listen, how many attackers were there? Eleven to fifteen. What did the mage look like? He wore a crocus-colored brooch on his left breast. How do you know all that? I don't know anything. I'm just guessing. From what direction did the attack come? It came from the northeast. And in what direction did they depart? To the northwest. Can you remember all that? What was he wearing again? A crocus colored brooch on his left breast. Then let's go. Thanks, Nuri. You're a big help. Oh, what a waste of time. 
It appears the spirit of these peasants has been extinguished once and for all. Well, okay, just look into back. Do I have to? Don't make this hard. Ha! I have contact. They came from the north west and then went where? Ida, what are you? I can't remember all this by myself. That'll keep them busy for a while. Another barrier. There's a lock on it. Whatever's in there, it smells awful. They smell funny, somehow. Oh, my head! My fix! What is this stuff? That's enough, Bryder. We have a statement. Have you thoroughly searched the crime scene? Yeah, nothing there. If there's anything else, it must be in the tent. I'll just finish writing this up. Uh-oh. There's a strange coat of arms on the wall. Or is it just a gaudy patterned rug? If only there were a door here. Come on, close, quickly. Made it. And don't disturb the crime scene. I'll hear every sound. That was close. Huh? There's another one here. Apparently the mages haven't even found him yet. Pray us be with me. That's the mask from the burial chamber. What else has that merchant fellow been keeping from me? He's got the mask firmly clutched in his hand. I need to use rougher measures if I want to get it loose. Good riddance. It fits. I really impressed the kid with this. She surely won't mock me again. There's a hammer peeking out of the bag. Hey! I told you He's not to break anything. But not so much that I can search through his bag. Oh, I have I'll no just idea take the hammer what everyone now. sees in her. Got it, and now I'm out of here. Oh, who do we have here? Brider, there's a new suspect. Huh? Uh... What have you got there, boy? This? That can't be. Master Bodiak? What is that? Nothing. Take it from him and give it to me. That, um, is quite obviously a very dangerous artifact. 
I must immediately take it to the school for study. Uh, question the swineherd in the meantime. Understood. So who are you? And why are you sneaking around here? You can't just take the artifact. Look at me when I'm talking to you. The School of Arcane Combat wants to know what terrible thing has happened around here. I, on the other hand, am surprised at how boring our investigations have been so far. So, please don't make this too easy for me or I'll be even more disappointed. First question. What sort of artifact was that? I don't know. Don't you think it looked like a mask? Where did you find it? I found it behind the tent. One of the statues had it in its hand. Hmm. Is that all? Can I go now? Boy, you are boring. You didn't even try to lie to me. Oh, this kingdom can't even get incidents of black magic right. And now for my last question. Who are you anyway? I'm Giron. Fine, that's all. You may go. Seriously? I can see from a hundred paces that you're harmless. Or do you have another question before you return to your uneventful life? You're a novice at the wizard school, right? Right. A combat mage in training. Forever damned to serve the Andagastrian nobility in their mindless squabbling with Nostria. Why don't you leave if you don't like it? First I have to make it through my training. What happened here? Didn't I already tell you? Last night, five Andagastrians got together at the Fat Ham Inn to drive a Talamede merchant from the forest. And they were found like this the next morning. You didn't say that they met at the inn, or that there were five of them. Well, now you know. What happened to the Talamede? We don't know. He probably won't be too far. All his belongings are still here. We suspect he's hiding in the forest. Your teacher seemed very excited about my artifact. That's the way he is. He collects rare artifacts, travels around a lot for them. Supposedly, he once even went to the Rashtulian Wall to Draconia. But I don't know any more about that. Are you good at riddles? What sort of riddles? How about, as the stone over the scarab, so rules the scarab over the stone? What's the context? Um, I can't tell you. Then I can't solve it. Well, I think that's enough. Get lost so I can keep searching in peace. I think I've seen enough. Come on, Nuri. I'll take you home. 